Top government officials have been invited to a high-level conference today to lay out Zimbabwe's development trajectory during President Emerson Umingagwa's second term. Cabinet ministers, deputy ministers, permanent secretaries, chief executive officers, and chairs of parastatals and local authorities will attend the meeting. It intends to establish the administration's strategic direction as Umingagwa begins his second term in office. According to Permanent Secretary Solomon Langa, with the overthrow of President Mugabe in 2017, Umingagwa first became the dominant figure. After years of economic unrest, he has worked to restore Zimbabwe's prosperity and establish governmental institutions. The upper middle income position was the goal of his government's Vision 2030, which was presented in that year. Despite the glacial pace of change, Umingagwa's re-election provides stability. His hands-on leadership approach is shown by the unprecedented mass gathering of government officials. It offers a chance to bring different stakeholders together behind the same goal. Umningagwa promised in his inauguration speech to serve all citizens honestly, advance improvements in living conditions, particularly in rural regions, and expand on his first term's efforts. Agriculture, infrastructure, and the fight against poverty will all be heavily featured. Effective implementation across all state agencies and ministries will be essential. Financial stability, adherence to the law, and improved governance are also considered as crucial for luring investment and broader support, which are essential for achieving Zimbabwe's development goals. Today's gathering, according to analysts, could improve policy coherence by uniting top managers around distinct national agendas overcoming long-standing social and economic issues that have kept the nation behind will be essential for success.